Hi guys, Jessica here. I have an eye slip face order for you. Um, I occasionally go on there and just look at the new items that they have. Um, and last week on, I believe it was Thursday, Thursday evening, um, uh, it said there was a tax refund kind of sale going on. If you click the button, they would give you a percentage off, 10%, 20, 30, 40. So I click it, I got 50% off. So how can I not buy anything when I have 50% off? It's a maximum discount of $10. But I was like, all right, it's time to get some of the things that I wanted. I was waiting for, like, that's when I usually buy all my elf stuff. Unless I'm, like, at Target, which I'm not there that often, or something like that. So, I bought eight items. I spent $17.95, and that included shipping. So, a little over $2 a piece. Almost everything besides one thing are studio products. So, I got a great deal. So, I'm just going to start off. The first thing that I got is this golden bronzer. They had a warm one. And I don't think it was called Cool, but there was another one. I think they had a warm one and one even darker than that. I wanted one that would give me a glow, but it was still soft. Um, I do have this light right here, so it's going to be hard to really see. You could see that I have color. What I like about this looks like this. I used it this morning for the first time. I'm trying not to get... Okay, I'm just going to show it to you with the plastic on it. looks like that. You can use these things but I swirled it what I like is that it doesn't pick up a lot of color I use two different kind of brushes it's very dense um, so you can use as little or as lot as you want you just have to pack it on and, and you have to layer it um, so you pick up a little bit and you start off and that's what I like about this and not I have a studio one that has the, the blush and the bronzer combo which I love it's my favorite duo that I have for my face but that bronzer is really dark and you have to be very light handed with it or it really messes you up. And I like that this one you can build it more. Um, so I definitely, definitely like this product. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the container. I'm getting rid of these boxes. I just wanted to show you guys. So the next thing that I got is this liquid, Luscious Liquid Lipstick in Nude Pink. It's on. It's very nude. I don't have a, a whole bunch on. Um, pretty much you just spin it and apply it. It has like a minty feel. Um, this was Allure Magazine's top beauty pick, I believe, of last year. This color and everything. It was like a must-have. Um, it does apply very smooth. Um, it does hydrate my lips. I can just feel it because of the minty undertone it has. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to be long lasting or not. So we'll find out. But it looks like that. It's a really pretty pink. So, so let me put that. The next thing I have are two studio long lasting lustrous eyeshadows. I've never tried these before. I have one on my eye today. It's like a bluish. There is glitter in it. It's not picking up by the camera. These are so cool. I had no idea they were like a whipped eyeshadow. Okay, I got them in yesterday. And I opened it up. And it comes in a package like this. It says a shimmery whipped gel. Easily blends for lasting comfort. I got one in confetti, which is just a white. But it has like a glitter in it. But it's so cool. I'm going to show you the one that I already put my finger in. The one I'm wearing today is in Celebration and it's the bluish color. It's really pretty. Um, and see, you could see I just barely put my finger on that and look at how pigmented that is and so blendable. And if you really want to blend it out, I mean, you could tell it really blends in. So where am I going to put this? <laughs> so I got those two colors. The white one I haven't really um, played with. Sorry, my hair is just annoying me. Um, but I know I'm going to love it because the it's just the coolest consistency. But you really be very light with it because you'll end up wasting a lot of product. But I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh my God, in real life. This is a glittery crazy. Oh my God, that's crazy. It's so like, oh, it's so cool. It's so shimmery. This would be cool just to put on top of the color, just for some shimmer, or maybe just put it in the outsides, like if you're going to do a wing, put it 
on the outside, maybe over and under it, or even put it under your eyes if you want a really glam look. There's just a lot of cool things you could do with this. So this says it's lightweight. It's definitely lightweight. It's perfect for highlighting and an extra shine for a glamorous look. Yeah, layer to build intensity. I didn't really layer it, but I wish you could see the glimmer, the shimmer in it. It's really, I really had to clean up down here because it went everywhere. Um, but I could really make it more intense, but I like that I kind of wore it lighter. The next thing that I got is a pigment eyeshadow, which is, again, a studio product. And it is loose eyeshadow, creates a dramatic look that is long-lasting. And it comes with a little brush, which is really cool, I think. So let me open this. Some of their packaging is just really excessive. Like, all well, this is really dumb. I'm, like, not one for a lot of packaging because it's. I think it's a waste. But now I can't even get this darn thing out. So now... Ugh. This is really annoying. All right, there we go. Let me get the brush. Oh, that's so annoying. Like, I'm just simple, I guess. So, oh, I'm scared to pull this. Because pigments, you know, they get everywhere. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. This is called Naturally Nude. It's not nude to me. This is very brown, so let me just. Wow, I just barely put my finger on the chef on the. It's that brown. That is not nude. Oh, I'm really wow. That's really shimmery. I'm really disappointed because one thing, if you guys don't know about Elf, is that their colors online most of the time do not equate to what you get. Um, they look either a lot lighter, like this looked like a light brown, and I was trying to dupe Sin from uh, Urban Decay, and as you could tell, that is not going to dupe Sin. It's dark, and how can you call that a nude? That's one thing that's like my pet peeve about eyes lip face. Okay, so the last things that I got, I got some makeup removing cloths. I do not like this for to wipe your face off. I usually use these, like half them, and I use them for my eyes. Um, they're okay, and I was about to run out, and these were only like $2 for 20 So um, that's the only reason I really got them. I'm not like crazy about them, but they're all right. But I noticed that if I'm trying to get off my face, I really got to scrub, and it makes my face really red and irritated, so... Last two things I'm really excited about, it's pretty pathetic, are these sparkle brushes. I'm so freaking happy about these. So I got a blending eye brush. I just did them because they're fun and, and I love e.l.f. brushes so I'm hoping these are at the same quality. So let me, and then I got a eyeshadow brush. So I got the blend, this is the eyeshadow brush, really dense. And this is the blending, which is really cool. And they look like this. They used to have purple ones and like a tealish blue, but I believe the pink ones are the only one left, which surprises me. Um, these are like $4 a piece, but I got them for what, like $2 a piece, so, or $2.25. So, two for the price of one. You could tell one's a lot longer than the other, one's a lot wider. So, um, that's what I got. Let's see if I can hold it all. This is what I got for $17.95 from Elf. So that is my eye slip face haul. Um, you know, I'm sure I'll be mentioning these products as I use them or telling you if I don't like them. And what is on my, what is on my forehead? Oh, I think I got some of that pigment at my forehead. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay gorgeous and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.